various additions to the altar uh, you know, for that empowerment that are related to the Buddha or deity yeah. or you know whatever the empowerment is for. Yeah. This particular one is a Tonga of Amitabha Buddha that's on the wall. Yeah. Um, he's uh, Amitabha is the um, the Buddha of uh, the Pure Land in the West, right? Um, so yeah. you know he made a, made an aspiration when when he was alive that you know he would uh, share his Pure Land you know uh, for all sentient beings. Uh, to come to and, and create a place where, you know, enlightenment would be, um, or practice would be unhindered, and you know, uh, as, as Kenjin said during the during the empowerment and the teaching, that you know there'd be nobody there to irritate you or to <laughs> to get on your nerves or anything. So you have really just kind of easy, uh, you know, easy practice. You just practice, and then no no obscurations or obstructions to your practice. Okay. Um, so that's that's the significance of, of um, you know the empowerment and the tanka. You know, the empowerment is um, is really kind of an initiation One to um, the, the, you know for the practitioner to do One the practice. Box for the um, and it's it's kind of like um, I just want to put it away. a good way in the same place. Yeah. 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 For yeah. example, if um, you have uh, some skill or whatever right. that. that you're going to, to teach yourself, or that you're going to practice. You know, you you usually have to have some sort of uh, guidance in that, yeah, and some sort of you know, permission to do that. Right? So, so that's that's kind of what an empowerment is. Empowerment gives you a, a, a kind of initiation and a blessing to uh, to perform a certain practice. Right?